Welcome everyone to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host Scotty McCoy and I have a guest on the phone from the original Halloween. That's right. I have Sandy Johnson and she played Judith Myers, the older sister of Michael Myers on the phone. Hi Sandy, how you doing? I am doing great, and thank you so much for having me on your show. Not a problem. I thank you for agreeing to this. We planned, we actually scheduled this interview about what a couple of months ago because you were you were booked for the for like I believe was like three months or so, and Greg uh, recommended me to you, and I'm like, yes, get me your information. <laughs> and I'm so glad well, we could do you. this. Not a problem. Yeah, I, I stay pretty booked, so I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that I could fit you in. I'm so glad as well. So the first question I got for you is, how did you get your start into acting? I got my start in acting as a student in school, middle school. I was in drama and choreography, dance, that sort of thing. And then I got into community theater, started taking acting classes when I still lived in the Hollywood area. Then when I was in uh, uh, Playboy, I started getting, you know, calls for other roles and things. So I, I kind of came up through school. Okay, awesome. So what was your audition like for Halloween? The audition was <clears throat> interesting. It wasn't at a studio or anything. It was actually at a house that I think uh, probably was one of the houses that they were filming in for Halloween because it was in that neighborhood and there were several people at the table and they were asking me questions asking me to read lines they asked me to scream which <laughs> was interesting in a uh, a regular neighborhood <laughs> in the day <laughs> so um, I went through all of that and then they said okay well thank you very much you know we'll we'll let you know and then uh, shortly after, maybe the next day or so, my agency called me and said, well, you've been <clears throat> cast as Judith Myers. Nice. Nice. So um, um, what, the knife that uh, Deborah used, now, was, was that a real knife or was that more of a prop knife? I believe it was a real knife. Okay. Nice. It's, and one thing I wanted to mention um, also, because I, I seen one of your recent pictures on uh, Facebook, and... Um, and uh, I, I believe it is you. Use, you have like the one of the Halloween knives on there. Obviously, it's probably a prop. I would assume because uh, I actually bought that knife on Amazon because we created. I created it with my production company, a uh, independent film, and we actually have the same exact knife I got off of Amazon. I was like, hey, that knife looks familiar. <laughs> yes. Yeah. For the this latest one that I did at the Myers House, North <clears throat> Carolina. There were some real knives involved, but there were okay. also there was also the the prop knife from the Halloween '78. Nice, nice. So, uh, how long? Were you in that? Nice. Was it like like was the scene kind of um like was it scary on set even though you knew what was gonna happen? Like was there like or like did you feel the suspense of it coming? Like did you, like or like you know what I mean? I don't know how to describe it really. Yeah, I'd say it was pretty scary because unlike on a normal set there weren't a whole bunch of people in the room with me right because it wasn't a big room uh, the room was dark it was small I couldn't really see them until um, I could hear them downstairs I could hear them coming up the stairs around mm -hmm. the corner and you know the stuff rolling on the ground and stuff so mm -hmm. um, yeah it mm. was it was pretty creepy because it nice. really did kind of sneak up on me Right now, did uh, did De Deborah Hill? Did she um have the mask on when she like when she was doing the stabbing? Yes. Okay. Nice. Yeah, she she picked it up and put it on, and was stabbing me. Nice. Um, here's a question that actually is another like a bonus question I want to throw in. So when they did the POV through Michael's eyes, obviously it was Deborah's eyes. How did they do that? Um, was that all done in post production, or did they have a camera like within the mask? Um, from what I understand, it was done post-production. Okay, nice. Um, let's see. So what was the best part about filming Halloween, and what was the worst? Um, the most, the most fun part was probably the downstairs scene, because it was playful and fun. And <laughs> right. My boyfriend was good-looking, and I was young. 
Right. <laughs> so all of that was fun. <laughs> um, probably the worst part was the fact that the blood pellets that I was smashing into my chest, they stained the skin. Mm. And so they had to be scrubbed off in, in between takes. Nice. So you were smashing that into you, like, yourself? Yes. Oh, nice. I'm actually, When I watch Hall- go back to watch Halloween, I'm actually going to uh, look for that now <laughs> to see if I can yeah, notice anything. Yeah, I had pellets. I had pellets on the inside of my hand, so uh, when I slapped them in my chest, they would break. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, I'm sure with COVID, conventions have come to a halt, but uh, do you have any conventions or upcoming appearances for fans to meet you? And if so, where? Well, unfortunately, I had like seven scheduled for this year, including one in the UK, and they've all canceled. Mm, Sad. So... For this year, yeah. yeah. So I think most of them will be rescheduled for next year, hopefully. Okay. So I will have a very busy time visiting with fans next year in 21. Oh, nice. The event that we had at the at the Myers House, North Carolina, a few weeks ago, I mean, that was great. It was the only time I got to visit with fans this year. And even mm-hmm. though it was limited, you know, because of COVID and stuff, there, mm-hmm. was, still, there was still a lot of people in there. We had a great time. So I was really happy that at least that one got to go on right right so the last question i got for you is uh, do you have any upcoming projects or anything like website social media or gigs that you want to promote to our listeners so they can follow you i do i have of course i'm on uh, facebook as the real sandy johnson Mm -hmm. i have um, instagram as unicorn sandy J. And that name is a name that my agent actually gave me because he looked for me for a really long time, many years, and he said I was like his unicorn, the magical, (laughs) (laughs) mythical creature. Nice. (laughs) So he always called me this unicorn. So Unicorn Sandy J is where that comes from. And then I also have a website where people can buy uh, autograph photographs. They can send in things to be signed. They can watch my podcasts and video casts, etc. And that is, again, unicornsandyj.com. Awesome. Sounds great. And uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been an honor talking to you. I have been a huge fan of yours since I was eight years old. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Scotty. I really appreciate you having me on, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you so much, and I definitely look forward to meeting you one day. That would be a very nice treat for me. Well, cool. Maybe it'll be next year, because I think yes. if all goes well, I'm going to be a lot of places. <laughs> That'll be great. Uh, hopefully, you'll be close to Maryland or Pennsylvania, because I, I live in Maryland, but I go to Pennsylvania a lot, too. So. <laughs> All right. That would well, be that, awesome. That's a definite possibility. Awesome. Thank you, Sandy. And you have a great rest of your day, and you stay safe. Thank you. Same yep. to you. Talk Thank to you. Later. Yep. Bye.